we are getting ready to install the Fastway Evolution 4 pegs. These are the steel pegs. If you were to get the Evolution 4 air pegs, those are made out of aluminum. They say that these are supposed to be indestructible. Now, if you look at my pegs currently and back at any of the video footage of me riding the Shurkant, Ow. you know we're gonna put these bad boys to the test. One of the things that's interesting about the way that Fastway, which is made by ProMoto Billet, makes their pegs is they have this little section that you can push in. Now, when you press this in, you press it in a certain way. Right now, I have it in the lowered position. There's actually a standard position is to press it in the other way. Using one of the little tools that they have with you, you can press it back out, put it in the other direction. With the Sherco, not only do I need to use their lowered springs, I have it in the lower position here on the peg. Another neat feature is with these screws, you can actually change the pitch, right? So with this screw screwed in and up against there, you can bring it in and out and it will adjust how the peg sits. That'll be interesting because I've never had an ability to do that. At the same time too, the cleats that they come with are this little bag of goodies here, kind of like a dime bag of cleats. But we are actually gonna be installing these bad boy, which are the F7s because these are serious. I actually wanna see how aggressive these guys are. So I wanna leverage these first. One of the cool things that is about the F3 cleats, the ones that it comes with stock, is that you can change the way that they are inserted into the peg. So you could have the front be higher, the middle a little bit lower, and the lowest in the back. You could go the other way. So if you're trying to lean back, you could adjust these for that, trying to lean forward. Or if you want the ability to have a rocking capabilities, you could have the middle here be a little bit higher. Pretty cool if you wanna do that with those stock cleats that come. But again, we're gonna install these guys and we're gonna see how this goes. So take off the pegs, Put on the new ones, ride the dirt bike, tell you what you guys think. Let's enjoy getting these on. As with most things on the sure Cant, these cotter pins were smashed in there. So it was uh, quite the comedy of errors for me to get these bad boys out. Once the cotter pins were out, small T-handle to push the pin through, then new peg goes on. I did have to orchestrate the spring on the foot pegs first, but of course, same screwdriver, same small T-handle to then get these mounted up, put on the new cotter pins, and then we lock tight our camber bolts and get those bad boys in. You can see I am not using any washers to install these first. I wanna ride them flat before I start to pivot them up in toward the bike and then of course the F7 cleat install this takes a little bit of time not too bad but you do just get some Loctite and then you get yourself the correct tool and you tighten those bad boys down and then you go shred some single track the pegs are on not too many issues so let's load the bike up and let's go ride <laughs> This is the kind of fun stuff that Crazy Gary drags me through at Twin Hills. He just finds rocks, we ride over them, and then somehow they connect back to another trail. What's crazy interesting to me is that I never really had a get used to the pegs period. I got on the bike and totally geared up. I felt very comfortable. The shifter didn't seem to be in a weird spot. The brake pedal didn't seem to be in a weird spot. So honestly, having them in the lowered position felt very comfortable and I got used to them very quickly. And what you're seeing here now is me riding kind of at the end of the day, trying to really push it, trying to find places on the trail that I could attack to make up those milliseconds of time so that as we get towards the end of a race, I'm kind of learning how to hold that pace. Now, of course, I'm a little tired. It got a little interesting, and this part will be fun for y'all. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Started to cramp up. 
I posted that clip on Instagram and oh my gosh, the comments are hilarious because everybody is just giving their two cents on why I cramped up, the fact that I am not properly hydrated, I don't have the right electrolytes, and I appreciate all the feedback because in the long run, it's only going to help all of us riders be a little bit better. I was decently hydrated and did have a good amount of electrolytes, but I was pushing myself pretty hard. I had been riding for about four hours this day, and sometimes it just happens. Muscle fatigue sets in, and you're just in a spot where your muscles are going to cramp, especially when I came out of that turn and kind of slammed into that rock. It just was what it was, but I really appreciate the feedback. It's fun, and that's why I like to post this stuff on Instagram is to, uh, you know, see what happens in the comments. Hell yeah, I really like these pegs. I hit them on many, many rocks today, but the lowered position is pretty awesome. These guys that we put on the F7 cleats are super sticky. They're very grabby, right? They puncture into the boot. I did get caught one time and just totally fell over. Gary got to witness that. It was amazing. Sometimes you just gotta have fun while you're on the trail and laugh at yourself. But if you're looking for lower pegs, like these guys are definitely an option. And again, with the little point that you can move around, you can have them between standard and lowered. I know some people switched in between bikes and use those differently. So that could be an option. Obviously a lot more riding to do. We'll see if we can destroy these things or not. They say they're indestructible, but who knows? We'll have to figure that out. Just, I hope you guys are enjoying getting seat time. If you don't get a chance to see you on the trail, at least we'll see you on the internet. <sighs> we'll see you for the next one. Peace. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. Started to cramp up.